Next topic is multi-level feedback queue. In sure the strap first algorithm or round robin algorithm, everything is fixed. In short the job first algorithm or round robin algorithm, there is only one queue of jobs in the system. Now we are going to discuss the new scheduler that learns from the past to predict the future and that adjusts the priority of the algorithm based upon its behavior. The objective is um, for the process that does not require lots of CPU time, it gives priority. For a process that requires lots of CPU time, it lowers the priority. Um, it minimizes the response time, basically, without the knowledge of the job's CPU time usage behavior. Here is how it works. Um, Multi-level feedback queue, MLFQ, has a number of distinct queues from 30 to 64. And each queue is assigned a different priority level. So there is queue. Q1 to Q64, for example. And then the job is ready to run is on a single queue. So job can be anywhere in one of the queues. And each queue is scheduled using the round robin scheduling algorithm. There's a few rules you need to remember in MLFQ. If priority A is greater than priority B, then A runs. And then if the two priority, two process has the same priority, then A and B runs in round robin. So um, for the jobs on the same queue, they have the same priority. An MLF queue varies the priority of a job based on its observed behavior. For example, if a job repeatedly relinquishes the CPU while waiting for I.O., it keeps its priority high. Uh, if a job uses intensively CPU for a long period of time, it reduces its priority. This is an example. So there are eight priority queues in the system, and there are four jobs. Uh, highest priority is Q8, and the lowest priority is Q1. And A and B are in the Q8, the highest priority queue, and C, are in, C is in Q4, and D is in Q1. Um, there is other rules to you remember. That's the priority adjustment algorithm. When a job first enters the system, it placed at the highest priority. And if job uses up an entire time slice while it is running, its priority is reduced. It goes on to the next priority level. And then if a job gives the CPU before time slices up, then it stays at the same priority level. So let's consider the first sample. This is single long running job. When the system, uh, when a job arrives at the system, assume that there are three priority queues, it is inserted into the highest priority queue two. Then assume that there are three scheduler and time slice 10 milliseconds. In this case, um, the job executes first 10 milliseconds. Because the, CP, uh, the process has used up all its time slice, it uh, moves to the next priority level and then executes for another 10 milliseconds. Once it uses also its time slice, then it goes down to the lowest priority level, Q0. And there, it stays there, and then it keeps executing. The other issue is the time quantum. Um, to react to the changes in the CPU utilization, uh, MLFQ may assign different time quantum length depending upon the priority of the queues. Uh, for pi phi high priority queue, it uses shorter time slice, and then for low priority queue, then may use the longer uh, time quantum size. So this example here with the three queues, the highest priority queue has very short time slice length. However, the lower priority queue has the longer time slice length. Let's examine the details of uh, multi-level feedback queue implementation in Solaris. Um, it uses a time sharing uh, scheduling class and it has 60 queues. And uh, it's slowly increasing the time length based on the priority of the queue. So highest priority queue has 20 milliseconds time length whereas the lowest priority queue has few hundred milliseconds time slice length. And um, priority of a job is boosted around every one second or so. Free BSD scheduler is another uh, way of implementing MLFQ, but this is in French implementation because FreeBSD scheduler implements MLFQ without the actual queue. 
Instead, it uses an equation. So it computes the priority of a process based upon how much CPU a process has used, same as in MLFQ, and it boosts the priority by DK. And then also it takes the uh, user's intention to uh, yield CPU to other processes. But still, for efficiency, it uses Q. Uh, in our Pintest project, we are going to implement FreeBSD scheduler in detail. So detail will be, will be shown later in, in the later part of the class. Okay, let's summarize MLFQ. Uh, they are a set of rules. Uh, rule number one, if a process has a higher priority, then it runs. If the two process has the same priority and they run in round robin fashion. And then when a job enters the system, it is placed at the highest priority level. Once the job uses all its time quantum at the given level, it goes down to the next priority level. After some time or period, uh, move all the jobs in the system to the time must queue. So finally, um, what is the beauty of MLFQ? It does not require any prior knowledge on the CPU usage of a process.